Drop your shoulders, get this guy in.
Drop your shoulders. There's no room for it. There's no room for it. Tap. So you end up pushing on me. Go under it. a brace. Because watch. It's not strong. It just feels strong. You get it? But it's not strong. So you gotta suspend your feeling. It's not right. But this this is all bracing. So you're gonna have the same thing, you see? It's gonna happen the same way. You see? Come on. Follow it. You're bracing here. You're trying to cut down, but your arm's going around. So look, here it is again. You feel it? So turn this shoulder down. 
There you go. And now consciously relax. Look how slow we're going. Watch. Look. You go on over here. You see? Take the energy off. And now you have your emotional tension. You have to tell yourself to calm down. Look how slow we're going. Brace again. That's where you would get punched in the face. So here's the tension again. Oops. So if you don't want to let go of the pit bull's collar, okay? So stay connected. <coughs> stay connected. Let it out, dive in, lay down, emotionally let go, and you wait to tap. Follow it. You're bracing right there. You see you're stopping right there. But the energy's going past that. Then you're here again because you have that shoulder up. Dive that shoulder down. Then emotionally, you know you're going to hold on to it. Bracing, you even got your hand down there. So it, again, it looks like it works slow. But it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You see? You're fighting the technique. You understand? Since I could ask a question yes. about the brace, this, it seems like Rain actually has like an internal break, like a Oh yeah, she starts flexing. Bracing. Look at her crying at this speed. There's an emotional uh, abhorrence to it. Okay? Now you can decide, am I going to grow up and be that fragile person where my expectation is that the world will never push on me? None of my relationships will ever push on me. My career will not push on me. So I don't need to learn how to blend and harmonize. I'm gonna always be able to resist and withdraw and it is never going to override me. That's a pipe dream. You have to use your wisdom and I think anybody who's at least high school age should understand how idiotic the latter is. You get it? So you don't let yourself cry. We're not going hard. Is your arm broken? No, you got some owie, an owie that you caused. So in training, especially at this speed, you look for your role in the clash as uke. You see? And then you deconstruct the clash by blending with Naga's energy. Instead of taking advantage of this slow pace, but even at this rate, you can tell. Just like I can tell. I don't. I don't need to go. Let me see if you can hold on to my grip at a little faster speed. I know you can't from the amount of internal flexion I'm feeling from you. From the second you touch me, you go into a tense, a tension. So it starts inside, but then it always will manifest itself externally. So you're coming through, like when you, when you take your kimmy, you're going like this. You see that? So the center is being projected with the, in this fashion. Do you see? But you're in this position. You see? And then the group can't hold itself. Okay? So, Again, this is not self-defense, and you are as Uke harmonizing yin and yang as much as Naga is. So when you feel the yang, you don't go yang, okay? You go yin, and that way you are training in the same art at the same time, okay? But this, this, this art 
of I'm going to be frail and fragile. I'm going to expect the world not to push on me. Right? This entitled dough. This is, this is a road you don't want to take. Okay? It does not work. It leads only to insanity. Okay? So, um, think about it. You can't keep up with the grip because you're, the majority of your mass is pulling against your grip. Do you see that? And then your pincher grip is not good enough to handle it. The Uke's grip should not leave the class to stay connected. Got it? So in other words, for their center to stay in the contact point, you don't need your fingers to keep that relationship. If you try to use your fingers, then you're not using your center, and now your the majority of your weight, your center, is pulling against your grip, you won't be able to stay up. Okay? The person who is using their center, in this case, nugget, is going to override your pinch of grip every single time. There's nothing in it. So at any point where he pushes, it, it doesn't doesn't do any doesn't do anything. I stay in, then I go through his arm to his center. Oh, oh. Okay, then here, try not you don't you're not pulling the person. So instead of thinking yin and yang is push and pull, think more yang is projection and yin is adherent, okay? So, uh, it's projection, and then I am sticking, he's sticking to me. So, he's, uh, he's pushing, and it's just very relaxed. Okay, and then here I don't hold him. Very relaxed, and I'm, I'm uh, keeping that zero pressure. So the adhe adhesiveness kicks in. The IP, okay? Right. So, boom, boom, shoo. Okay, so we're gonna go, uh, watch, 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 watch. Watch, don't move, don't move. Right. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, watch. You see? Oh, it's just, if I stay at zero pressure, there's enough friction right. between our skin and our gi and all that kind of stuff. Okay? So even if I only get a tiny bit of it right. and then I go to a more active, that's better. Right. Okay? Right. Uh, in, in finding, you don't, you don't need all of this. You don't need right. all of that. Okay? But in training, it's good to, to keep that. Right. Okay? You understand? So you, you're increasing your rep duration as long as possible. Whoa. So this is different. You see that? I am all internal.
Okay, try your best. Right. So, uh, free yourself from the external pattern, you see? Because then, then you want to hold the pattern, you see? And as you do whatever, right. like let's say you start to drop your hand there, right. then I go like, uh, right. you see that? So, when, when I, we use the pattern to get us there, but then I got to free myself from the pattern, okay? so. It, wherever I'm at, I, I can find his center. Find his center, wherever, he, wherever we're at. You see? So I just keep relaxed, aiming through your center. Aiming through your center. Wherever your hand will allow me. Okay? Do you understand? Hi. So it's like, wherever you touch me, I can find your center. Okay? We're just starting here for training purposes. So watch your over-reliance on this, okay? This, it's the feeling you want. The feeling from here goes to there, right? Then, then here, I, you're like, okay, when pulled into, when pushed, right? And so you're waiting for your uke to turn, to enter, and then you move out of the way like a bullfighter. You understand? Okay. okay. So, Again, free yourself from the pattern. I am actually moving him into that. You see that? So it, it, it looks like, like maybe I, I get it on the pattern. It looks like it. But not really, because I think it always looks more relaxed than the other one. You see? And so the same thing with this one. I, I am actually moving him. You see? Oh, oh, oh. So, uh, and I can only move them so much, and that's what I move my body to. Right. Do, you, do you get it? I'm not moving my body to Idumi Tenka. Okay? Uh, center, moving right. them, that's where I move my body. Okay? And that's the rate I move my body. So I'm playing with the first angle because you're very stuck on it. Right. Okay. So, so you can so you learn. Try those subtle differences. Yes. So that would be the external application. I forgot your Tammy stop. You want to see the face and see the opening. That is just your way of being now. So when you, when you reach out, it's not reaching out until you try to pull it in. Hi. If you didn't pull it in, it would just be touching him. Hi. And then from that touch point, you would do Aiki and you could get him to move with you. Do, do you understand? Okay, so. Okay. This, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so this, this part, all right. Then, then you're here like that. See? And this doesn't become reaching out until you go like that. OK? 
Okay? So, just, you're here, we'll touch it. You see? Just touch it. And that will do it. Okay? You understand? So, I do the first part. Well, if I want to touch it, touch it. Don't pull it. Just, this is, this is, these two points here is where you get that action going. I tend to wait, though, you see? You see how I'm doing that? So I'll use the, the, the IP on the, on the grip hand. So on this side, you see? And then that brings his elbow into me, and then, then the elbow picks up. But you like to reach high, okay, then just touch it. And then you do the two hands. It's fine until you pull on it, okay? Hi. Hi.